channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Crow Gal. And today I am going to be talking about five keto staples that you need in your kitchen. Um, so these are five food products, both from the fridge and the pantry that will make your keto life a lot easier. Um, what sparked the idea for this video was the fact that my parents decided to start doing keto. And my mom had kind of been talking about it for a while, um, picking my brain a lot about the keto diet and, but she hadn't like bit the bullet. Like she hadn't, you know, said, okay, you know, we're starting on this date, like we're doing it. And so finally one day she went to the store and she was like, okay, she texted me and she was like, okay, we're just gonna go ahead and like jump right in. What are the key items that I just need to get now? And so that's what kind of jump started the idea for this video. I started thinking, okay, what, what should you have in your pantry, in your fridge that is absolutely necessary to make sure that you start keto off on the right foot? Um, and obviously this is all of my opinion. Are there other items that are necessary to other people? Sure. But to me, these are the five main things that you should have in your pantry, in your fridge, if you are getting ready to start the keto diet. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. We're going to start with the butter. So this is the Kerrygold pure Irish butter. It is grass fed. Butter is really important on keto. Um, whether you're using it for a recipe or you're using it to just cook things in, um, butter is really important, specifically grass fed butter. Um, grass fed butter is a lot better than just regular butter because the cows have been grazing on grass and not grain. So you get a lot more nutrients, a lot less toxins, um, and it's actually been proven that it's beneficial to consume grass fed fed butter, hence bulletproof coffee, and a lot of keto recipes having grass fed butter in them. When cows are grass fed, they produce milk that is higher in nutrients, higher in vitamins, it has more healthy fats in it, um, like I said, less toxins, um, more omega-3 fatty acids. So essentially, it's just all around a better butter to be consuming. I feel like I'm saying butter so many times. Um, so this is the one that I purchased. Obviously it's, it's being well used. Um, whenever I cook eggs, I don't use like the oil spray anymore. I always use butter and I factor that into my macros. So number one, the thing you need is grass fed butter. So let's go ahead and stick with fridge related items. Next up we have cream cheese. This is the great value, the Walmart brand cream cheese. Um, I put cream cheese in here because, um, you know, it's a little bit more specific, but I put it in here because so many recipes call for cream cheese and nothing drives me more insane than finding a keto recipe that looks so good or any recipe for that matter and not having like an ingredient, right? Like you have five out of six things and the sixth thing is cream cheese. Um, we're talking vegetable dishes, dessert dishes, uh, to make sauces for your meats. So many keto recipes call for cream cheese. And again, this is not gonna expire anytime soon. This one in particular, it's currently March or April and this expires August 11th. So we got some time. So it's not gonna hurt you to just buy some cream cheese, keep it in your fridge. And like I said, when you come across that keto cheesecake recipe or that, you know, uh, fat kid broccoli recipe, you're gonna have cream cheese in your fridge ready to go. All right, moving on, the next thing I wanna talk about is almond flour. This is the Bob's Red Mill almond flour. This one is super fine. Um, it's very, very powdery, very dusty, which is how you should like it. Um, in terms of carbs, it's five carbs and one fiber. So four net carbs um, per serving. This is definitely the lowest carb flour I have come across. Um, I don't mind coconut flour, but it is more carbs than the almond. Again, many a recipe, whether we're talking about breading for different meats, or we're talking about making a keto cookie. Um, I'm trying to think of the last thing that I used almond flour for. I don't remember, but, um, it's a staple. You need you need it in your pantry. It kind of kills me a little bit because almond flour is very expensive. I am a 
budgeter and I'm very frugal and um, when I had to buy this it was a little like because I think this one was 12 bucks and it's like 16 ounces so there's not a ton in here um, but y'all need it you can't use regular flour on keto so again just a great thing to have in the pantry Right, continuing on. This video is gonna be nice and succinct and short. I like that. Continuing on, we have, this is Swerve, but any type of sugar replacement, erythritol, um, stevia, anything like that. This is three carbs per serving and three erythritol. So it's zero net carbs. Um, this is the confectioner's one. You can also get like the granulated sugar um, in Swerve. This is my favorite one, but it is on the pricey side. Um, they do have like great value. The Walmart brand, they sell their own stevia. So there are cheaper um, routes that you can go, but y'all need this you need this in your life whether you are sweetening your coffee or like i said you're making a keto brownie or a keto cookie you are going to need a sugar replacement because you can't use regular sugar um to me powdered stevia has a very distinct taste and that's why i prefer the swerve because it is erythritol and i feel like it tastes the most like sugar on to the last thing i feel like this video is gonna be like the shortest video I've ever filmed. But that's good because I really want this to just be like, here are the five things you need. And I, you know, I don't want it to be this like labor intensive thing where you're like, oh, so many things, so many, you know, facts and da 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 da. These are just five things that you need in your pantry, period, to the point. So the last thing is Himalayan pink salt. So this one in particular I got from Walmart. I do not remember how much it is, but you can pick this up at Walmart, at Target, at any grocery, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, those type of stores always have um, pink Himalayan salt, whether it's in a bag or in like a grinder. Um, this is very important on keto. This one in particular is fine grain, which I like. The granules are super small. Um, obviously I use this to season my food, whether it's after or, you know, in preparation um, and pink salt is really important because it's the purest one of the purest salts that you can get table salt has so many added things in it, it it's a like extremely processed um, and doesn't have anywhere close to the nutrients and vitamins that the Himalayan pink salt does so um, it's you know mineral rich it's derived from a natural source it's not processed it has everything from magnesium iron potassium calcium um so it's very very important it's also imperative um i think to have this when you are experiencing keto flu which for me happens around day four of initially starting keto um i put this on everything you need your electrolytes so I put this on everything. I even put it in water and, you know, sip on that. And it really helps combat all of those symptoms of keto flu. Um, so again, just a quick like summary. We have the grass fed butter, cream cheese, almond flour, some type of sugar replacement, and then the Himalayan pink salt. Those are the five things that will set you up for success from the get go when you start keto um they did for me and i you're even though other people might have other opinions about things that are important to them you're not gonna go wrong buying these five items so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed if you enjoy keto content stick around because that's kind of like what i'm about over here um and drop me a comment if you are doing keto what is a staple in your pantry that i didn't mention today um let me know let everyone else know because somebody else might be interested in that as well um so go ahead and drop me a comment and yeah i will catch you guys in my next one bye friends